Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'm Judy, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about video editors. I know lots of us smaller content creators on YouTube eventually want to up our game. We want to get into things where we can color correct and you know, do audio post-production. However, the free software that we might be using, such as iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, just doesn't cut it anymore because it can't do any of that stuff. So, I am going to tell you about three of the video editors that I have used that are free and have many of the same features such as Adobe Premiere. And obviously Adobe Premiere is expensive. Not everybody can afford it and not all of us want to resort to becoming pirates just to get it. So here are the three that I think are very useful and that you might want to give a try to up your game. Shotcut is a free open source cross-platform video editor. It is available in 64 and 32-bit versions for Windows and for Mac OS and Linux users it is available as a 64-bit version. It supports many formats including 4K and if you don't know how to use a nonlinear video editor, Shotcut is a good entry point because it has many tutorials available on their website to help you get started. Shotcut is a relatively easy to use video editing program. As you can see, there is a wide array of filters that you can use. You can do things like add text, adjust the brightness, you can even color grade it. If you're interested in adding some of those composite type effects, you can also do things like add color bars or one of my favorite type of things to use is things like the movie countdown, such as this one. DaVinci Resolve 14 is another non-linear video editor. It is available for download for free as long as you choose the DaVinci Resolve 14, which is the personal version, whereas the studio version, I believe, has, I don't know if it's a monthly fee or if it's a one-time fee, but you have to pay for it, and that is for multi-user collaboration. The software is available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Compared to Shotcut, DaVinci Resolve 14 is a more complete video editing package. It offers better options for color grading and color correction. For those of you who have an interest in upping their audio game, you also have Fairlight included in here, which gives you the option to do some post-production audio work. Once you are ready to export your final project, you have a few options available to you. You can either customize whatever option it is that you want to export in, or you can pick some of the presets such as YouTube or Vimeo. And you can also export into a format to allow you to continue work on Final Cut Pro or Premiere. Another popular free video editor is HitFilm Express. 2017. Unfortunately, with HitFilm Express, it is only compatible with Mac and Windows, so if you are on Linux, you are out of luck. You have access to things like 2D and 3D effects compositing, and you also have access to visual effects. Unlike the other two video editors that we talked about previously, HitFilm Express is more of a freemium than a completely free software. The reason why I say that is because for many things you need to buy an add-on pack, such as Colorist if you want to do things like color grading, or if you want some of their film look LUTs, you have to buy that as well. So it is not completely free. However, if you are new to YouTube and don't care about things such as color grading, Hit Film Express is a relatively complete package and it could be for you. The only thing is that the learning curve on HitFilm Express is a little steeper than something like Shotcut. 
And that's it for me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what video editor you use. Do you use the ones that I have mentioned or do you use something else? Let me know how you like it. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notification for my next videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye.